There's a fluidity to him that is really, uh, really remarkable and really, really inspiring. And, um, and you know, again, he's a filmmaker because he loves... Hi, Lucy, how's it going? Good, how are you? How emotional has this whole thing been? Then. I feel like that you might actually make a perfect Christian Grey in the film adaptation of this erotic fictional book called Fifty Shades of Grey. Right. It's a 27-year-old billionaire who's into bondage and domination, <laughs> okay. who's alternately sweet but also creepy. How do you feel about that? Would you be interested? I don't know. <laughs> you should maybe get, you know, you're a good agent. <laughs> For audience, um, which emoji do you use the most? Oh, I prefer spelling words correctly. Okay. <laughs> so then you get called to set, but we were all sort of cool outside and lined up where they just poured buckets of... Are you jealous of Jamie's recent award? What's well, his recent award? You won Best Butt on Live with Kelly. I have seen your rear end, sir, and it is divine. <laughs> Are you jealous of this award? Yeah, I mean, clearly, obviously, that's Were you, even, were you in the running at all? No. I don't know, was I in the running? <laughs> You weren't you were, even you were in the running for best eyes. You won that was one. So there you go. Fun. Come on, hold on. This is the best in the world, so sure. I'm at, sure. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, I'm shooting a, a Christopher Nolan movie at the moment called Dunkirk. Mm -hmm. And um, with former One Directioner Harry Styles. Exactly. Yeah. Former? Have they split up? I don't sure know. have. Well, he's have left they? the band. No, he hasn't left the band. This Never is hot off the press. Ooh, he's left sorry. The band. Ignore me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh. Who says David Hasselhoff is one of their biggest heroes? <laughs> oh God, who'd be silly enough to say that? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, Harry Styles. I, okay. I mean, mementos. Pretty unbelievable. Women involved, so um, we definitely thought about that every day. Um, am I answering that as well? Um, <laughs> you don't have to, if you don't want to. We can move to the next question if you want. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. And uh, do you reckon there's chance of you working with him again? Maybe I don't know. Scarecrow? Ask him. He'll be there. Yeah. I, 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 can't, I don't know. Oh, okay. Bruce one, did you think that there would be a series two? <laughs> this is what happens when there's two. We <laughs> hope so. <laughs> we ho uh, well, I hope so. Does, do the fashions change as we move into the 1920s? You could probably elaborate on that. It's a huge responsibility to to bring something like this to the screen in a, in a, in a performance. Hmm. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's your <laughs> turn, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know how depressed you are in this picture, but um, perhaps you, you'd explain. You'd explain. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? No, I've, I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel wanna, about it? I never want to see it again. <laughs> Another uh, role that many are saying you would be perfect for is in the television show, HBO show Game of Thrones, hugely popular. In the next season, the bastard son of Roose Bolton, Ramsay Bolton, uh, needs to be cast. And George R. R. Martin describes him as someone with a fleshy appearance, with large, wormy lips and long hair and pale eyes. And so many people say that you would be perfect as a Ramsay Snow. Oh, I don't know <laughs> if that's a compliment or not. I'm not quite sure. And um, are you guys? On Snapchat, by any chance, do you have a preferred Snapchat filter? I don't know what Snapchat is. Okay. I, I, I don't even know one of them. Um, in this, but can we just discuss Killian because he's born in the 90s. Uh -huh. I have a real issue with people born in the 90s. They make me feel so old. So did old. you? Did you? You guys feel that on set? You're like, he's so young. No, actually, no. <laughs> and do you make, did make a choice not to be on social media, or, or was that being forced upon you? Just too old for that, you know? <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah. Well, enjoy tonight, and thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. I didn't know if that was just like a bit of an urban myth. You're reading the internet too much right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Shattering classes of the boring 20s, you probably could do it and not, you know, just... Killian, are you aware of the disappointed Killian Murphy meme on the internet? The what? The disappointed Killian Murphy meme. Uh, so in junkets, the people, your fans on the internet are saying that when you're not speaking, sometimes you look like you're disappointed in someone <laughs> a long way away. Oh really? Yeah. What do you think of that? Um, yeah. But um, 
These days can be a little long sometimes. <laughs> you know? It just made him terribly self-conscious oh, of himself at the moment. <laughs> oh, I hope not. No, if it helps, they love me. I thought I was exaggerating. Oh, good. Yeah, I think I was exaggerating. I think I was exaggerating. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was over. You know, it can be, it can be wearing uh, if you do three days of it. <laughs> and sometimes you have a little dream about, I don't know, 